Richie Benno had the knack of knowing precisely what to say. A oh, nice shot. And when to say it. 300 up for England. And he's done it. His dry and measured delivery, the soundtrack of a sport. He started off with the most beautiful delivery. Gatting has absolutely no idea what has happened to it. He still doesn't know. Beautifully bowled. His father took him to his first game when he was nine, igniting a passion that took Richie Benno to the highest levels of cricket. A leg-spinning all-rounder, he began his test career in 1952. He became the first player to score 2,000 runs and take 200 wickets. As Australian test captain, he never lost a series. But he'll be remembered best for what he did after he handed in the bat and ball and picked up the microphone. Hello, welcome to the highlights. He became one of the best-known sports commentators in the world, loved by millions around the cricketing globe from Australia to India, the West Indies to Pakistan and, of course, England. Welcome to the highlights of the first day's play of the second test match, England and India at Headingley. Cricket fans adored him and mimicked him with affection. Two for 22. Marvellous catch that. He said to have joked about the royalties, but always kept his humour and knew his catchphrases had value. A marvellous day here. Perfect conditions, super light. Great shot that. Marvellous, marvellous. He signed off on live British TV with the 2005 Ashes, but he carried on working for Channel 9 in Australia until two years ago. Whilst he was commentating, you got the feeling that uh, he wanted you to be a part of it with him, and he just made it just a, a wonderful game to try and understand. He was a lot of things. Uh, um, apart from being a very good cricketer and an excellent commentator, he was a gentleman. He dies one of broadcasting's biggest stars, but Richie Benno was a modest man who repeatedly turned down recognition. Who knows what he'd have made of today's offer by the Australian government of a state funeral. And, uh, that's what it is, as far as I'm concerned. Time to say goodbye. He said of his life's work, as a guest in someone's living room for the long hours of a cricket day, you should try not to irritate them. I've loved every moment of it. And uh, it's been a privilege to go into everyone's living room throughout that time. What's even better, it's been a great deal of fun.